Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So we have spoilers number four and five for the FabFitFun Spring 2021 box customizations. They just dropped. Spring 2021 sale dates will be in the description box below as well as links to past customization spoiler videos, both mine and the actual FabFitFun ones. I am likely going to be skipping this box myself. So if you are interested in skipping, there is a way if you're annual and you go to your subscriptions and you hit cancel, I believe that's how you get to the option to skip and how you can see if you are eligible to skip your box. I believe you may have had to have been a member for a certain amount of time to be able to skip your box. I'm not sure, but that would be how you could check to see if you can, if you're interested in skipping. I've seen a lot of comments on my videos that people are likely going to be skipping this box. If you do skip, you can still shop add-ons. So that is really, really important information. And for these customization options, this is for annual only. So if you are seasonal, FabFitFun will pick your product. You don't get to choose these unless you're annual. In this video, I'm just going to be doing a first impression run through of the spoilers and fairly soon I will do my full review where I talk about each of the products more thoroughly. So be on the lookout for that video and if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. So let's get into the spoilers. So I am looking on mysubscriptionaddiction.com. I've talked about them before and they have information on every subscription box under the sun, like breaking information. So that is the site I'm using right now. And here are the spoilers for customization and number four. So the first option is this Sorbus Makeup Organizer and it is a $30 value. And it looks like there are daisies on the bottom of that. And it says a feature various slots for easy organization. So that's a very specific design. If that fits your decor, that could work for you. It wouldn't fit mine, so that's a pass. The next choice is the Ahaba Refreshing Cleansing Gel. And this is a $24 value. It leaves oily skin feeling fresh. Conditions and cleanses skin for all day comfort. The fact that it says oily skin makes me think that perhaps this is for oily skin, so I will look into that. I do like Ahaba products though. The next option is the Erno Laszlo C Mud Deep Cleansing Bar and it's a $38 value and it says loaded with 26 minerals to exfoliate the skin, perfect for oily or stressed out complexions, leave skin soft and radiant. I do know that I have seen wonderful things said about this product. I also know that Erno Laszlo is not cruelty free if you're interested in that information. The next option is the Lark and Ives hair scarf bundle and it's a $30 value. It includes a coral shade with a floral print scarf and a solid cream shade scarf. Included in a canvas linen pouch, 100% poly satin. And then the next choice is the Grow and Alchemist body cream, mandarin and rosemary leaf. This is a $26 value, formulated with potent bioactive ingredients, visibly restores skin elasticity and suppleness. I have used this before. It was in different packaging and I like it as a lotion. The lotion itself is very, very good. It smells like creamsicle, which is I, which I've learned is a no-go for me as far as scents are concerned. But if you like that scent, this is a very good body cream. And I remember a lot of people saying really good things about it. The next option is the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. It's a $45 value. Contains milk protein and marine algae infused with natural papaya and pineapple enzymes. Gently dissolves dead skin cells. I've used this. It's a very, very nice face mask. I do like it. If I were to choose anything from this option, I guess I would go with this one. And now customization number five. The spoilers are the Pure Cosmetics Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil, a $28 value. Unique Soft Focus Diamond Powder helps the skin glow, leaves a soft champagne hue. And then the next thing is the Camp Collection Dip Dye Market Tote, and it's a $25 value. Pink Ombre Dip Dye, used to carry groceries, beach supplies, and more. 99% cotton and 1% rayon. That's very cute, I like those kinds of bags. And then we have the Coco Floss a Tropical Trio, a $28 value, super cleansing, soft textured dental floss, infused with vegan wax, coconut oil, and irresistible fragrances. People do like the Coco Floss when people talk about it. Uh, good things are said, I've never used it. And then we have the Summer and Rose Tweezer with Pouch, a $20 value, and I guess they don't think that there's much to say about it because there's no description, but there it is a little bit zoomed in. In. And then the last choice is the H. Halston Aloe Infused Gel Line Socks and Pumice Stone, a $40 value. 
features a self-activating aloe-infused gel lining, includes a pumice stone. That's it. If I had to choose, like I said, I'm probably I'm gonna skip. If I had to choose, I guess I would get this market tote. I guess. But nothing really speaks to me in any of the choices really. So I do think they're all lovely products. I don't want to sound negative, but that is what I am planning to do is probably skip. Let me know your thoughts. What are you getting? Are you excited for these customization options? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!